uh, welcome everyone in the previous uh, lecture we were looking at uh, the principle of inclusion and exclusion uh, we proved that and then we looked at a couple of examples uh, in particular we looked at uh, the uh, number of derangements uh, using inclusion exclusion and then also using a uh, principle of inclusion and exclusion we calculated the number of surjections from a set to another set so these are the uh, these are the uh, two uh, examples that we looked and so now uh, let us look at a couple of more uh, examples uh, so uh, what we look uh, today uh, is the first question is that given a multi set uh, let us say a t with uh, uh, three copies of an element a four copies of an element b and five copies of an element c we want to find the number of uh, 10 combinations of this uh, set which means that we want to select 10 elements uh, multi sets but of course uh, which are uh, multi subsets of the set which means that we cannot have uh, more than uh, more than uh, three copies of a in the subset four copies of b in the uh, subset or uh, five copies of c in the subset right so what we what we know how to count uh, you know using the uh, one of the results that we studied earlier uh, is to count uh, the number of multi sets that we can make if there is an unlimited supply of each element right so if if the repetition or uh, replacement is allowed then uh, you know we know how to do that so so given an unlimited replacement uh, the number of k combinations of an n element set right so n element each of the element has unlimited re replacement available then uh, we said that it is k plus n minus 1 choose k Right. this is something that we proved okay now what can we do in this case so that is the uh, question so uh, as you might have guessed we can try to use uh, the principle of inclusion and exclusion uh, to deal with the question this time so how do you do that so first we uh, look at s uh, as the set of all uh, 10 combinations where infinite replacement is available right so let us denote by t star uh, the multi set where each copies of uh, a b and c are available as many as they want then uh, we will define right as in a typical example uh, our application of uh, 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 inclusion and exclusion uh, we define uh, a1 to be uh, the those combinations in s which uh, uses strictly more than three uh, copies of a right we are only allowed to use at most three so the uh, combinations that use uh, more than three are going to be the bad words right we, we want to avoid them. Similarly, we can define a2 to be the 10 combinations in S that uh, has strictly more than four copies of B. And uh, similarly, uh, a3 to be the one with uh, more than five copies of C, right? So now uh, once we have this, we know how to calculate this uh, using principle of inclusion and exclusion. We can say that, well, you take the, uh, you know, the total number of, uh, you know, uh, combinations for the universe which is s and then you subtract the bad ones and then you get the ones that we want right so what we want is that a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection a3 complement which is to say that uh, we, we are looking at those uh, 10 combinations which does not have uh, more than uh, 3a uh, and uh, more than 4b or more than i mean or more than 4b or more than 5c Right. so none of this uh, must be there so therefore we are looking at uh, a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection a3 complement and that is precisely by inclusion exclusion cardinality of s minus uh, cardinality of a1 plus cardinality of a2 plus cardinality of a3 right subtraction uh, from s and then uh, then you know you add 
back uh, the you know a1 intersection a2 a2 intersection a3 a1 intersection a3 right so these things you add back so and then uh, you again subtract a1 intersection a2 intersection this is what we want to do so now all you have to do is to compute each of these quantities right so what is cardinality of s what is cardinality of uh, each of these ais and their intersection once we have this we can uh, we can use and then and get this as well so uh, how do we do that here well uh, in the case uh, what we have uh, k is equal to 10 and n is equal to 3 uh, for the 10 combinations of uh, the uh, infinite replacement uh, situation right we want to count s so that is uh, k plus n minus 1 choose uh, n which i mean uh, choose k which is equal to uh, in this case 10 plus uh, 10 plus 3 minus 1 choose 10 which is basically 12 choose uh, 10 which is 12 choose 2 also right and uh, which is 60 that is easy to compute then uh, what is a1 right so a1 is the 10 combinations where uh, a appears uh, at least four times right strictly more than three now if a is appearing four times those are the bad guys right so from s how can we compute this uh, well you look at the 10 combinations uh, where there is at least four then you know what you can do is that you can remove these four guys right so remove the four and then what you get is going to be a six combination right uh, and then it can it can of course contain uh, you know some uh, some a's uh, but uh, uh, yeah so uh, but so that 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 are uh, that is that is okay right so but th these are in one to one correspondent with each other because you can also reverse this operation right so you have a, you have a combination of t star where uh, you are looking at uh, the multi sets uh, using this uh, uh, this uh, a infinite uh, possible t uh, of element and then you add add uh, the four uh, as that back then you are going to get 10 combinations where there is at least four as right so therefore there is a, a correspondence and then we can instead count the six combinations of t star but again counting combinations in t star is very easy right we already have the formula so here it is uh, k is equal to six so therefore we have six plus three minus one to six which is 28 so similarly uh, you can calculate for uh, a2 which will be 21 and uh, a3 plus four is equal to 15. so these numbers we can calculate then what we need now we need to find out uh, a1 intersection a2 a2 intersection a3 etc right so these computers we need to do so what is uh, this so like if you take a1 intersection a2 what we are saying is that we are looking for the the you know uh, the combinations where you have at least four a's and uh, at least five b's right so those are the bad gates so if both of them are happening together then it means that you know four plus five nine uh, you know elements are basically a's and b's so those let us remove as in the previous case so you will get one combinations in t star so that we can count and th they are in one to one bijection again in the as in the previous case so therefore we get uh, it is going to be one plus three minus one choose one which is three so there are three uh, 3 is a cardinality of a1 intersection a2. Similarly, we can find a2 intersection a3, then uh, it would be 1, and a2 intersection, I mean, a1 intersection a3 to be 1. Take the writing mistake here. So this must be a1 intersection a3, and then uh, a2 intersection a3 is 0, and a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 is, of course, uh, 0. So we have calculated all these things, and then for uh, uh, therefore we can directly apply the formula. So which is uh, cardinality of s, which is 66 minus the summation of uh, uh, a i's 
cardinalities of AI is, and then uh, you know, AI intersection as a, I mean, A2, uh, etc. So that is going to give you answer six, as we just see here. So now, so there are exactly six, uh, you know, ten combinations with the property that we are looking, right? Right in this, uh, in this, uh, in this set, right? Three uh, A, four B, and five C. Now, uh, can you actually find the six, uh, ten combinations and list them? So that is a nice question that you can think about, and uh, I will write it as a homework. Okay. Now, one more question, and then uh, we will uh, look at something else. Okay, so here, uh, what we want to do is to find the number of uh, integral solutions of the equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is equal to 18. But then, uh, instead of the earlier conditions, right, you know, where uh, xi's are greater than or equal to 0, or xi's are greater than or equal to 1, right, both we solved. Uh, here, what we have is that, 1 is less than or equal to x1 is less than or equal to 5, right? So there is a, there is a lower bound as well as an upper bound for uh, x size. And then uh, minus 2 less than or equal to x2 less than or equal to 4. So this is also different that we are allowing x to be negative, right? And then uh, 0 less than or equal to x3 less than or equal to 5. And uh, 3 less than or equal to x4 less than or equal to 9, right? So these are the boundary uh, of, uh, you know, x size. So x size cannot take values outside this boundary. So now how do you how do you look at something like this? So you if you think for a few minutes, you can see that like okay, a very simple uh, change of variables will help you to uh, you know help you to uh, you know change the format to something that we already know, right? At, at least uh, partially. So let us first uh, do the uh, change of variables as follows. So we will uh, we will say that uh, you know see x is ranging from x1 is ranging from 1 to 5 right i don't want i want everything to be from 0 to something right so what i do is that i will say that y1 is equal to x1 minus 1 right and then y2 is equal to x2 plus 2 because i again want the left hand left hand side to be a 0 so minus 2 becomes 0 so y2 is x2 plus 2 y3 is x3 because you know x3 is uh, left hand side uh, is 0 already and then uh, y4 is equal to x4 minus 3, which means that I am going to get uh, 0 again on the left hand side of uh, that variable. So now, if you do the change of variables, of course, you know, you have to uh, substitute then change the uh, constants also, right? So then uh, what you will get is that uh, y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 is equal to 16, right? After doing the calculations, as that, uh, of course, uh, 0 less than or equal to yi. And uh, y1 is less than or equal to 4, etc. All these conditions which you added or subtracted from x. So the bounds also changes accordingly. Now, uh, this uh, again, right, it's very similar to the previous question, but uh, let us first, uh, yeah, so therefore let us uh, just look at the set of all uh, non negative integer solutions and then subtract using the inclusion of. So we set uh, cardinality of s to be the, I mean, okay, so I think I wrote it wrongly. So s is to be the cardinality of s. s is the set of all uh, non negative integer solutions uh, to this uh, equation above. So since there is a one to one correspondence between this equation in y and the equation in x, we don't have, we don't worry about, you know, the number, right? Numbers remain the same. So, uh, what is the cardinality of s? Again, applying the same uh, rule that we did earlier, we get 16 plus uh, 4 minus 1 to 16, the number of uh, solutions to this uh, non negative integer solutions, which will be 969. That is the total number of non negative uh, integer solutions. But now, then we have to uh, put the other conditions on the right hand side. So, how do you do that? Well, we can define the bad guys, right? A1, A2, etc. So let uh, a1 be the solutions in S with the property that uh, 
y1 is greater than or equal to 5 okay? that is not allowed so similarly a2 is the solution such that y2 is greater than or equal to uh, 7 uh, etc okay? so then uh, once you define this okay so i am not doing all the details so you can you can do uh, on your own and complete the uh, proof so uh, here now for each case you have to you have to do some uh, change of variables to reduce you know that counting uh, you know that particular uh, variable to be in the nice form right so what we are going to do is that we are going to do a change of variables uh, again uh, to say that okay now z1 is equal to y1 minus 5 and uh, z i is equal to y i for everything else now solutions of uh, z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 is equal to 11 right after the change of variable uh, will give you the cardinality of uh, a1 and then uh, what you do well uh, this you can find out because you know for this equation it is basically uh, 14 choose uh, 11 after like 11 plus uh, 4 minus 1 choose 11 and then uh, you will get it to be 364 so similarly you can find uh, a2 then a3 and then a1 intersection a2 a1 etc and then uh, compute this and give me the final answer okay so this is that that is homework for you complete the remaining steps and and uh, solve this uh, question okay so now i will give you a few uh, more uh, homework questions uh, so <clears throat> let us uh, let us look at uh, uh, one by one so one question is that like uh, uh, find the cardinality of the set of all f mapping from uh, you know uh, the set 1 to m to set 1 to p such that uh, f is an injection then uh, find the cardinality of set of all f uh, which maps from uh, you know set 1 to n to x such that uh, f is an injection and f is a surjection then uh, count the number of uh, compositions of uh, uh, let's say the number 40 right integer uh, uh, compositions the number 40 into four odd parts okay so how many are there if you are saying that okay we want to count uh, only the compositions into odd parts right exactly four odd parts then Uh, next question is to prove that uh, m raised to n is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to n s of n uh, comma k uh, you know m p k right now uh, for uh, m uh, to be a positive integer now suppose i let m to be you know an arbitrary real number instead of a positive integer does the identity uh, that we gave in the part a uh, does it hold so if it uh, doesn't hold you have to give uh, some counter example and if it holds you have to uh, prove it now uh, find the number of solutions uh, to the uh, equation summation i equal to 1 to 4 z i is equal to 14 such that uh, 0 is less than or equal to z i less than or equal to 8 for every okay so the next question is that in a uh, in a party right so we already saw a similar question earlier in a party uh, let us say that there are 10 men and uh, 10 uh, women are uh, uh, you know, participating then uh, you know there is this uh, hat check person uh, who you know collects the hats when you enter and then you know give uh, give it back uh, when you when you when you go out now suppose this person you know like just you know for fun maybe right uh, give the you know the men's hat to men uh, at random when they when they go back right? not, not necessarily the same same hat like pick one and then give it to the first person who comes right similarly uh, for the ladies hats also he gives only to ladies but then again that is also at random right so from the ladies uh, hats in one one uh, one stand he will pick one at random and give it to one of the ladies who is going on. So this way he gives the hats. Then the question is that how many ways 
uh, no one uh, received their hands. Right? And then in how many ways exactly two men and uh, at least two women got their own hands. So these are uh, the questions. Then uh, another question is that uh, how many uh, northeast uh, uh, lattice paths go from uh, the point 1 comma 1 to the point 8 comma 8 that does not pass through uh, you know points whose coordinates p and q are both prime and uh, uh, the final question is uh, to prove that uh, summation k is equal to 0 to n 2k choose k into 2n minus 2k choose n minus k is equal to 4 raised to n okay so that is uh, basically what uh, what uh, are your uh, homework questions 